Hey guys, hope everyone's doing well. Um, welcome to um, day three of the fast. Um, I think we had a morning session earlier done by my sister, um, Prof Colette. Um, so I'm just, so my name is Stephen. I'm going to be taking the um, second session of today's fast, um, which is actually from the seven o'clock to the eight o'clock session. Um, but while we're here um, and while we're waiting, let's just quickly just come to a time of prayer quickly. And then after prayer, we're just going to start, I'm going to go into it. So Heavenly Father, Lord, I want to thank you, Lord, for this fast, Lord. We thank you, Lord, for this fast, Lord, that, you know, we're walking into your supernatural rest. Um, Spirit of the living God, we thank you that even through this session, that um, even through today, Lord, that as we are here and as we are um, in this fast, Lord, that you will be having your way, Lord, to do what you need to do, Lord. We pray that you will um, build, you will um, cause us to walk into the place of coming into your rest, Lord. We pray for greater understanding, just for, a, you know, a level of, like, greater depth, Lord, in you, Jesus. We pray, Lord, that we will leave even this time and this session that we are in this fast to different spirit living God. We thank you, Lord, that you are with us. We thank you that we are entering into your supernatural rest. We thank you, Lord, that because you are changing, that you are transforming, Lord. We will just want to thank you, Jesus. Lord, we want to thank you, Lord, that you are mighty. You are worthy. You are the King of Kings. You are the Lord of Lords. That you are the King of Glory, Lord. We thank you because you are strong and mighty in battle, Jesus. We thank you, Lord, because you know that you are the one that works in and through us, Jesus. Uh, we just want to say, even through the place of this fast, through of this session, that you will have your way, that your will shall be done, Lord. We thank you, Lord, because you are worthy. You are worthy. You are worthy. While we're just here, just for the next couple minutes. So just let's just come to a place of just um, let's just welcome the Lord into this time right now, even into this session. Holy Ghost, that Lord, we thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord, because mighty is your name. We thank you, Lord, because worthy is your name. We thank you, Lord, because you are the great I am. You are the King of Kings. You are the Lord of Lords. You are the King of Glory. That Lord, we thank you because you are the you know the soon coming King. Lord, we you are worthy, Lord. We pray that you will be able to move and have your way, Lord. That you will heal, that you will touch, that you will deliver, that you will set free, that you will do what He has to do even now and during this fast in the name of Jesus we pray amen 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 okay so guys welcome again to day three of this um the fast we didn't it's called the supernatural rest um but um I'm taking a session today called the renewing of mind the renewing of mind that's the session that I'm going to be taking on today it's going to be called the renewing of mind um so um, what renewing means is that renewing means to, to restore freshness or to make something that was old new. It means to bring something that was old and make it new. You're renewing it. You're bringing it back. You're restoring it. So when we're talking about renewal during this fast, we're talking about uh, moving into a new way of thinking of, or doing things um, on not just doing things that was done before. Because... Um, you know, we're talking about the renewal, especially of the man, talking about the mindset changing, that you're carrying a new mindset, that um, that basically that whatever mindset you had before in the past has now changed completely. And now you you are renewing, you're changing your mind into the new way to, to actually match the new season. And the scripture that really comes into play in this um, um fast for me when it comes to this session is Luke chapter 5 verse 37 and it's, and it's where Jesus says that no one puts new wine into old wine skin or else the new wine will burst the, the wine skin and be spilled and the wine skin will be ruined but a new wine must be put in new wine skin and both, and both are preserved so what that means is that you cannot you know that you know that if you're going to come into a new place you know you can't bring the old into the new because if you bring the old into the new the old will end up just will end up ruining and destroying the new and so what that means is that is that we have to make sure that we let go of what is in the old 
when we come into the new. So it's that means that while I said then we can begin to make room and begin to make space for the new. So that means that when we're looking at this, that means that it cannot bring the, the old mindset into a new season. You need to get rid of the old mindset if you're entering into a new season or else the old mindset will end up affecting and may end up ruining the new season. But to understand that if you're coming to a new season and you're, and we know that you won't go to do something in that new season, you end up carrying a new mindset, new understanding, fresh wisdom, fresh knowledge. So what that means is that, and this is, is that we have to learn and know how to get rid of the old things if we're going to see the new things. And so, um, yeah, to, first we actually see the new things. And so for us to actually the new things in this season, our mindset has to change from the old to the new so that then we can be able to grow and develop into what we are achieving. So, but the question is this, right? So the, how fast is called the supernatural rest? So what does the renewing of the mind have to do with supernatural rest? So good. So you see, the issue is that uh, for you to able to come into the supernatural rest, it means that um, for you to come to, into supernatural rest, it means that this year we have to, to actually do things differently from how we did it last year. So maybe for us, many of us, 2022 might have been a year where like we may have been like working and trying to do a lot. But the issue is that if we are going to come into the place of entering into God's supernatural rest, some things have to go and, and why? So then a new things can begin to come in. A old mindset have to go. So that then, so that then when an old mindset goes, um, so that when an old mindset goes, a new one can begin to be developed that will be able to help us to come into the place of our rest. So, so for example, many of you guys may have done a lot last year. I'm like, okay, 2022, I was using my strength and my effort to do this. You were, a lot of us have been working. But I feel like in this season, if we are going to be able to see God move in this season, we might have to change what we did last year to now allow God to, to do new things in us. So the, why? Because as we begin to change our mindset from what we did last year, and being able to actually rest in him, God begins to do something new in him, to do something new in us. So you see, when we look at scriptures, right, um, the Old Testament, in the Old Testament, we understand that the, script, the Israelites had a work-based mentality because that was what was happening then. To, to achieve the will of God. So that to, you know, do sacrifice, and they had to do a lot of works to get things done. And so what we understand is that with the Old Testament, if you look, you know, there were like rules and there were a whole lot of like things that they had to do. Like there's a whole structure of rules and things that they had to do in the Old Testament. And for, us, for them to actually to be able to come to the place of the presence, purpose and the power of God. But what we understand is that in the New Testament, we saw that Jesus came in the New, but then, but then when Jesus came in the New Testament, they struggled to see what, what Jesus was doing in the New Testament. Why? Because they were still carrying the mindset of the old, which was the work-based mentality, which was the work-based force. But what we saw, what we see was that when Jesus came in the New Testament, Jesus brought, um, um, Jesus came to actually introduce rest to us. How? Through the grace of God. And what we understand was that the, at that time, the Israelites didn't understand it because they were thinking, okay, this guy is here, we have Jesus, he's here, and he's just coming to come and change our culture or be able to change our tradition, but not understand why, um, because they were not able to get rid of the old. And so because they were not able to get rid of what the Lord had done in the last season, the Old Testament, that means that when Jesus came, it was, was very hard for them to, to actually bring in and to actually take in what, what God was doing in, the, in their new season, in the New Testament. Please stay with me. I'm going through this. Um, but what we understand is that in Scripture, when Jesus, but what we understand is this, right, was that when Jesus died, Jesus released the grace of God and the peace of um, the grace and the spirit of God to fall for, and what that means is that, is that for him to lose the grace and the spirit of God, it means that, that we no longer have to be able to do things from the mentality of work anymore. But now everything that we do now comes from the place of grace from the spirit of God. Basically meaning that, um, you know, that I'm making progress and I'm doing things, but I'm not doing it in my own strength or my own effort. But now I am, but now I am doing it through the grace of God, because now it's not me doing it, it's God doing it through me. And so what that means is that I can rest in God. I can rest in his presence. I can rest in his peace. I can rest in his grace and understand that as I'm resting in his peace and as I'm resting in his grace, God is, God is working. 
And so, because what we understand is that in the Old Testament, we were everyone, you know, there's a work like, I have to do things myself. We, you know, like in the Old Testament, like we are to sacrifice to get to God's presence. We are to do this to get into the purpose of God. But what we understand is that in the New Testament, once, once Jesus came, it came with grace because what, what is grace done was that his grace means that we could not be able to rest in God and be able to rest in him or, and, and still be able to actually make progress without actually being able to work. Why? Because it's not us that's working. Is him working through us. That means that if it's him working through us, that means that we can be able to rest in him, rest in what is done, rest in what is done in the cross, rest, rest, rest in his finished works. And what we see is that the Israelites were not able to understand, um, the, the Jews were not able to understand that in the New Testament. And, and, and they thought about that. Why? Because they had not changed their mind and they not really their mind from the tradition of what was done in the past, people to actually accept what Jesus, what God was doing in the new. And maybe for many of us, that would be where we are in this season where God is trying to do something new in us. God's, God's, God's trying to do something new with our lives. But for him to do that, we have to come to a place where we are able to um, be able to come into the place of his rest and come into the place of his peace. How? By being able to actually submit to his grace. I'm able to rest in his grace because I realize that the more that we rest in God, is the more that God actually works for us. Um, let me say like um, Paul, Paul says it like this. 1 Corinthians 15 verse 10, but by the grace of God, I am what I am, but the grace was not without effects. No, I work harder than all of them. So this is Paul saying, I worked harder than all of you, but look, yet not I, but the grace that was with me. So this was Paul saying, listen, I worked harder than all of you guys, but I didn't really work harder. Why? Because the grace... Because I depended on the grace of God, meaning that I was so even so that means that even in even in my place of where I was making progress, I was still resting in, I was still resting in him. And so in this season that you know that's called that's called the theme of our supernatural rest, I believe that for many of us, we can be able to rest in the peace of God and rest in the, in the grace of God in this season. Understand that as we are resting, we don't need to do much. All we need to do is just be able to rest in him. And as we begin to rest in him, God begins to work in us and through us. And I believe that what God wants to do is change her mindset from the mindset of, I have to do, I have to do, to get, I have to, do. God, Lord God, I have to do this to more like, you know, God, I rest in you because I know that as I rest, you are already doing it. You're already doing it already in me. You're already doing it in me and through me. That we are making a decision to go from the mindset of, oh, yes, God, I, you know, of me doing stuff to the mindset of me saying, God, I depend on you. Because I really believe that if we are going to be, really be able to rest in, the, in God in this season, able to come to supernatural rest, we have to, to depend on his presence. We will have to, to depend on, um, on his grace. Because I have to understand that it's no longer us, but it's actually now Christ who lives in me. It's no longer me as a person, but it's now what Christ who lives in me. And so what that basically means is this, is that it means that it's not, it's not me that is doing it, but it's God that is working through me. But the issue is that for God to, to work through me, I will have to be able to also as well depend on the grace, depend on, the, um, on, on, um, on what is already brought in my life. But that means that my mindset has to change. I cannot be going with the mindset of, oh my gosh, yes, God, I have to do this. I have to do this. You see, the issue is that we have to make sure that whatever we did in the previous years is left. But now that we are carrying the rest of God, we are walking into the peace of God. We are walking into the grace of God. Why? Because as we begin to walk in, in, in his grace, we'll be able to make more progress and be able to even do more without having to um, be able to actually, you know, exert energy or exert strength. Because at the end of the day, in this season, it's not about how much I do physically, but it's more about how much I can depend on him spiritually. It's more about how much I can actually rest on him that, you know what, God, is already done. It's already done. It's already finished. Because many times, you know, as believers, as Christians, we can have this kind of like full, and, um, full pattern that, you know what, I need to do. I need to, you know, go here and do. And of course, it is important that we need to work. But the issue is that we're not working from our flesh, we're not working from you know from our body, but we're walking. But everything that we do in this season, we're doing it from the grace of God. Everything I'm achieving, I'm achieving it from the peace of God. Everything I'm achieving, I'm achieving it from His rest. That means that even when I'm moving, I'm not actually 
exerting any energy why because all my because everything that i'm doing is coming from the peace that means that as i am working in purpose in this season i am working from the place i understand okay god i don't have to work and this is where i feel like the lord in this season wants to be able to change our mindset and be able to renew our mindset renew our mindset of okay god that i am not working in this season that i am not you know that me myself i am not working in my own strength i'm not working in my own effort but instead i am working from the grace of god i am working from his from his peace i am you know that our minds has changed and and what we understand is that even in the um old testament paul really spoke a lot about this the scripture in old testament where paul says that abraham believed and because he believed um you know that, that abraham believed like he believed and because um he believed was and it, you know was righteous and what Paul was trying to say in that scripture was that because of Abraham's believing in God's word, believing in God's promises, Abraham was already counted righteous. And what that means is that in this season, the only work that we need to do is be able to rest and believe in what God has already spoken over us. That yes, even though like God has said this, I don't, yes, yes, I don't have to feel stressed that yes, God, I have to push my strength or have to push my energy to, to do this. But I understand that in this season that I am changing my mindset from the mentality of I need to work, from the mentality that I need to push, from the mentality that I need to do this, from the mentality of God, you've already done it already, that God, I rest in what you've already done. That was that's the whole beauty of the cross because the whole beauty of the cross was that from the point that when Jesus died, it meant that we can now depend in his grace. It means that this, it means that now all I have to do is just be able to move from the peace of God, move from the grace of God because any day what the grace of God means is that, is that the grace of God um, basically means that I am, let me say this, it's more like I see I am, um, the grace of God basically means that I am making progress and I'm making, and I'm moving forward, but I'm making progress not from what I have done, but from what he's doing in me. And I believe that in this season, the place of our progress and the place of what we're doing this season will not come from how much we need to work or how much we need to do, but it comes from how much we're able to rest because when we rest with God and we rest, he just, when we rest in his presence, everything is already done already. That's, that's the beauty. And so the beauty is that, you know, that we can learn, understand that, okay, that I don't have to do any, I don't have to be able to push my strength. I don't have to be, because I know that many of us, even me as well, like in the last couple of years, you know, like, yes, God, I have to do this. I have to push. I have to do this. I have to put my own strength, my own efforts. But the issue is that it was saying that in this season, that we're coming into the supernatural rest of God, it means that, that in this season, I am removing the old mindset of, of, of anything that I, I've done the last season, of all the works, of, of, of all the things, and all I'm doing is saying, God, I rest in you. That is saying, God, my peace is in you. That I'm saying that, God, in this season, I, like, as I rest in your presence, as I say, and of course, like, resting in God's presence doesn't mean that we're doing nothing. It just means that in, in, in us resting in him, all the burden and all the everything that we carry is going to him. So, of course, we, you know, you know, there's a scripture in the Bible where Jesus says, um, you know, that um, uh, the scripture says, "Come to me, all those who are heavily laden, you know, and and I give you, you know, come all to me, who are heavily laden." And scripture, you know, and he says, you know, that as we come to him, that he will carry our burden, that he will carry our burden, that that as he carry our burden, that you know, that we should find rest in him. Why? Because as we, um, I think it's come to me, who are heavily laden, and I'll give you rest. And 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 just that basically says that that we should give his burden our burden unto him why because as we give our burden unto him that he you know that we that he begins to carry our burden that he begins to carry our yokes and that's what the lord wants us to be in this season god just wants to come to a place where like we're entered into 2023 and you know and we're like yes i have to carry you know we have to carry our burden we have to carry but the issue is i want to understand that jesus has already promised us rest he has already promised us rest in this season. And so what we need to do is that instead of us trying to work everything out and being able to do everything out, what we should be able to do is actually say, you know what, God, I rest in you because you've already promised that you will carry my burden. You will carry my yokes. That you, you know, that as, he, you know, that as we depend more in him. So, so in this season, all we're doing in this season is that we're just depending more in him.
that we're spending more time increasing in the place of our faith, increasing in the place of our trust in him. And so that means that for many of us who may have to let go mindset, or maybe I had last year of, oh yes, God, that I have to do to get that God that I have to, you know, that we because in this season to come to them, because for us to come into the rest of God, we have to renew our minds. We cannot come in with the mindset of I have to do, 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 do. But but we have to come with the mindset of I need to rest in what is already done. I need to rest in it because it's already promised that it will carry our burdens. That we have to rest that because we know that it will already carry our yokes. That we have to understand that as we, you know, that and, and I believe that, that the more that we begin to rest in him is the more that he will, even he will begin to renew our minds and be able to change our minds into a place where when all we're doing in this season is just depending on him. And as we're depending on him, we're, we're seeing that the Lord is being able to, you know, give us the program risk, you know, we first need to move forward without us having to even do any of the big stuff. And I believe that even in this season that, you know, that from us on, on the rest of God, that we be able to make more progress than other people that are, you know, that are not. Because basically, they'll be looking at us and thinking, okay, how are you doing this in, in the season? How are you being able to do all of this work, being able to make all this progress without getting tired? And for, and for many of, of us will say it's because I am dependent on the grace of God. That because I know that as I depend on the grace of God, that he takes care of everything, that I don't have to worry about me having to, you know, do everything to get everything done. But I know that he's already gotten it done already. That's where the rest comes in. The, the rest comes in us believing that he's already got everything done. The rest comes in us trusting that everything's already done already. That everything that we've already prayed, everything that we've already believed in God for this year it's already done already. It's already finished already. It's, it's, it's already been established. And so what we're doing is that we are resting in his presence. We are resting in a, you know, in a place of our relationship with him. I know that as we're resting, he's getting it done. And so what that means is that we, is that what that does is that that carries and that removes the burden of tradition that I have to do. Uh, because the issue is that is this is that we don't, we don't have to work like the way the word works to, to make progress. We don't have to do things whether the word do things to make progress. Our progress comes from the grace of God. If, if you guys can see after me, our progress comes from the grace of God. Our rest comes from the grace of God, which means that as we are dependent on the grace of God, we don't have to worry about anything else. We don't have to worry about how things will get done because any day is the, for us to rest and this is where against the room of our mind comes. It comes from this of knowing that I am not the one carrying it. God is carrying it. I am not the one that have to, you know, it's, it, it's, it's God that's working it out. All we're doing is saying, God, I rest in you as you are already doing it already. That means that as whatever is happening, this is happening, we are already settled in our soul because we know that God is already dealing with our, our soul. Whatever it is, maybe it's, it's our goals, our, our, our personal goals, or maybe what we want God to do in our homes or in our families or in our personal lives, what we know is that it's already been done already. And what we do is that we 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 remove the work mentality. We take away this thing of because end of the day, because end of the day, if we are saying, God, I'm coming into the rest, but yet, but yet to have not renewed our mind, what ends up happening is that we will end up coming and we will end up trying to do what God is meant to do for us ourselves. And this is where the, the renewing of the mind comes in. Because, because the renewing of the mind is us saying, God's already got it. I don't have to worry about it. God, I am, the renewing of the mind is also in our mind to know that, that we are coming to us. Because at the end of the day, if we do not renew our minds, what ends up happening is that we end up working. And, and if we end up working, we end up doing what God is meant to do. And the issue is that that will, not, that will only give us work-based progress but that will not give us a god-based progress and the issue is this right is that if we are looking in this season to, to actually have a work-based progress a work-based result what, what we want god to actually do things it means that we will have to learn as people to, to actually say you know what god in this year in this 22 i step back and i step back as you step in and as this step in what we're doing is that we're resting in him and it's his grace his spirit is him that is doing all of the works and so even during this fast 
one thing that I really want to encourage us in this season is renew our mind on on to renew our mind on actually saying, you know what, God, I don't have to worry about anything else because I know you got it. The renewal in, in this season comes in us having to find the rest of God in this season in our lives. The renewal in this season comes in us having to say, I don't have to work hard. Listen, hard work is good, but 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 there's a level of result you can make when you're able to really rest in who God is, understand that as you rest, everything's already done. Even me, myself, I had to come into a place of with God where I was like, God, I have to do this. I have to do this, God. I want to get here after this. I'm, I literally got to come. No, all you need to do is just begin to sit in my presence. Let's begin to replace work in this season for resting in God. So our only assignment in this season is that is that we're not going to be worrying or thinking about how to get things done. But our only assignment is that we're going to be obedient in sitting in him and understanding that as we are sitting in him, that he's carrying our body again. Come to me, all those who are heavy laden, and I'll give you rest. So rest is already promised. Rest is already promised. Let's not become like the Israelites who who who. When the, yes, even though they work in the Old Testament, when it came to the New Testament, they were not able to find rest. Why? Because they were still depending on the traditions. And my question is, is this for you, is that what traditions or what mindset have you taken from last year that you need to change for you to find rest in God? Because the truth is this, right, is that we cannot find rest in God from a work-based, from a work-based mentality. We cannot. <laughs> I'm saying this myself because for people that know me, me myself personally, I'm a workaholic. I I can work all I can work all the time. I'm thinking, okay, God, I need to get this done. I need to get this done. We need to get this done. So I know what it means to be somebody that's like, yes, I need to do, 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 do. I need to work, 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 work. But instead of this season, God is saying, I understand you need to work, I understand you need to do, but understand that you can get more out and you can you can get more result out from being able to rest in him. We can make more progress from, from being able to actually depend on him. Because why? Because when we rest, he works. That's, that's what the grace of God does. When we rest in him, when we have faith in him, when we trust in him, he works. He does it all. He works it all. So all we are doing is that, we're, is that we are spending our time to actually really rest on what is already done already. What is already achieved on the cross because that was the whole point of why he died. He died. He came on the cross so that then we, we can walk into supernatural rest. There is rest available for us in this season. But the rest comes from us changing our mindset. We cannot walk into rest with, with, with us having a work-based mind. We cannot come into the rest of God without us having a mindset that says, I need to do Many times for us, citizens, what we need to do is take our to-do list, take all the things that we have and be able to place it before the Lord and understand that in faith, it's already done it already. It's already finished. It's already done. That was the beauty of the theme of the cross. Um, you know, when Jesus says on the cross, it is finished. That is finished meant it is done. The work is done. Every Everything that we're looking for, every promise of God, everything that God has spoken over us, it was already done, established. And so that means that we do not have to carry the word's method of working. We do not have to start saying, okay, I have to do this, I have to do this, I have to do this. Because, you know, because when we rest in him, that's when God works. That's when he begins to give us ideas to do. That's when he begins to give us instructions. That's when he begins to do things in us that we can never do ourselves. And one thing that I've learned from God is that God works best when we rest in him. God works best when we rest in him. God does supernaturally more when we rest in him. We make more progress when we rest in him. We, 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 we were not made as people to depend on our own strength. We were made as people to depend on the work of God. Even God himself knew what he meant to rest in the in the Bible. You know, when of course when he created the world in the sixth day, you know, of course we understand that the you know that the seventh day was the day of the Sabbath, the day of the rest. And of course, what the, you know, what the rest allowed him to in you know what that rest done done is that it showed us that we as people we can rest. 
And we, and, but the issue is that our rest is not like the works rest. Like again, in First Corinthians fifteen ten, Paul says that, but by the grace of God, I am what I am. And to this grace was not without effect. No, I work harder than all the other apostles. That's what said, listen, I do more than all of you other apostles, all of the you people of God. I do more, but yeah, I don't do more. Because my doing more is not like you're doing more. You're doing more is you trying to work. My doing more is that I'm doing more, but my doing more comes from the grace of God where I am resting in it. Because what to understand is that in this season, it's not us that works, but it's Christ that works through us. Christ works through us. Everything that we need to do, he's already done it through, he's, he's already done it already. But what we need to do is to depend on his rest. And so my exhortation is this, before I say, because I think I've got about five minutes more before we go into prayer. So my exhortation is this, that, that, that we will allow God to get rid of every work-based mindset, every work-based mentality, so that then we can be able to find peace in his rest. So that then we can be able to make progress in his rest. So that then as we are, so that means that so then as, as we are sitting in his rest, God is doing everything. That we don't have to worry about anything. We don't have to worry about any burden, about anything, but understand that in this season, God can get everything done. He can fulfill all his promises in our lives when we rest in him. So my... Um, exhortation is this that we will renew our minds, that we will move, that we will literally allow God to change the mindset that we've had. Any work based mindset, any I need to do mindset, any mindset, because the truth is this because if we're going to see the minds, the um, the um, rest of God in this season, the manuka of God in this season, we need to be able to make sure that we are carrying the mindset of ones who are depending on Him. Because God, because the issue is this, right, is that God, God, you know, if, if we're doing, we are, we are, if you're just moving and we're, and we're trying to basically work and do, we're not, right, we're not come to God's rest. And many times what that would do is that that would bring us into a place where like we're, we're exhorting our energy and we're exhorting our minds and our everything that like we're trying to work hard to get what to get what we need to get but but what but what we have to what, what we don't understand is that we can get what we need to get without having actually having to work that's the secret of god that's the secret of this rest that rest is not really rest rest is us depending but he's working he's working everything out that while we are resting god is working everything out while we are depending on him, is making all things working out for our good. While while we are resting on him, is bringing peace to our life. While while we are coming to a place where like we're changing our mindset into the the rest of God, that God is already working. He is already working. He works so that we can rest. He he's he's already done it so that we can rest. There's nothing more that we can do or add. All we need to do is rest on his word. For many of us, it's resting on his promises. For many of us, it's just being able to settle on the things that is, is already spoken to us that he will begin to do. And, and one thing that I really just want to encourage us is this. Let's renew our minds so then we can come into the rest of God. Change our minds so then we can find his peace. Change our minds so then we can find joy in him. Change our minds so then we'll be able to really move into the place of the rest of God. Hallelujah. Amen. So while we're here, we're going to go into prayer quickly. And what we're going to pray, first prayer, I've, I've only got about three sets of prayers to pray, and they're, but they're very, very simple prayers. And so the first prayer that we're really going to pray is for a complete renewal of mind. Because remember, we cannot enter the new with the old. You know, there's a saying that says, out with the old, in with the new. And so we cannot enter the new rest of God if we're still carrying the work perspective of the old. So what we're going to begin to do is pray for a complete renewal of our minds in this season. That we will let go of the old. That we will let go of what we had before. That we will let go of everything that, that, that we feel like, okay, God, we have to do or everything that we didn't do. That we will let go. Everything let's go of. But in this season, we start afresh. We start anew. So, so because from us starting afresh and, and from us starting anew, 
we walk into the manuka of God. We walk into the rest of God. We walk into the peace of God. We walk into the purpose of God. So where we are, let's just begin to pray. Lord, we thank you, Jesus. Oh, Yadabasi, Dedebarosi, Kadabasi. Lord, we thank you. Jesus, we thank you because you have given us rest in this season. Lord, we pray, Lord, that we will let go less of the old, Lord. We pray that we will let go of the old mind, of the old ways of thinking. Jesus, we thank you because you've already come to give us rest, Lord. So we pray that we will let go of them all. Rather, what, what, what we, let's just begin to pray that, that literally that the old will go. Let's begin to get rid of the old, Lord. We speak, Lord, right now that, Lord, every old mindset, Every old, every, every old mindset or mentality, Lord, that we had from before, Lord, we pray right now, Lord. Yes, Jesus, that you begin to get rid of it in the name of Jesus. Who said that? Oh, Spirit of the Lord, we pray, Lord. Let's, yes, Jesus, we get rid of every old mindset. We get rid of every old mindset. We get rid of every mindset right now in the name of, oh, Lord, yes, Jesus. Lord, we get rid of every old mindset right now in the name of Jesus. We get rid of everything that literally every mindset that does not correlate with this season, Jesus. Every work-based mentality, Lord, we get rid of it. Let's just begin to pray. Huh? Let's begin to declare right now huh? that we are getting rid of all the old mentality, huh? of all the work-based mentality. Oh, Jesus, we get rid of every mentality, Lord. Huh? Yes, in the name of Jesus. Let's begin to go come on let's begin to pray huh? that we will let go of the old mind huh? of the old things huh? of every single thing that we've carried with us huh? that if we're coming to the rest we let go of the old that lord we get read huh? we let go of the old wine huh? we let go of the old wine huh? we remove the old wine right now jesus huh? that lord we are saying oh yeah ba, 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 huh? that everything that is old is coming out huh? and we are moving in with the new huh? that the old is been out huh? and we are in with the new old that lord we remove every old mindset huh? that we remove every old mentality huh? right now in the name of jesus huh? right now in the name of jesus huh? right now in the name Name of Jesus, right now in the name of Jesus, right now in the name of Jesus, we let's begin to pray that whatever mindset that we've had, that we've possessed, that will not allow us to walk into the new, that Lord, we literally remove it right now. The Lord, we pray that our mind is being changed right now. Lord, we remove the old, we remove the old things, the old thinking, the old ways of doing things, the old ways of understanding things. Oh, Jesus, we get rid of it. Huh? Lord, we submit to you right now. Huh? And we submit. Yeah, bah, 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 so they, they, bah, huh? that, Lord, we submit to you, Lord. Huh? That we're not stressing about anything. Huh? That we're not worrying about everything, Lord. Huh? That, Lord, that we are submitting to you. Huh? And we are getting rid of every single thing. Huh? Every single mindset. Huh? Every single thought pattern. Huh? Every single thing that we, Lord, every thoughts, Lord. Huh? Right now, huh? that, Lord, that we will not enter as for now rest uh, with the old foot pattern Lord uh, that we will not enter uh, with the old ways of doing things uh, that we will not enter uh, right now Lord we will not enter the new with the old uh, that we will not enter the new with the old uh, that we will not enter the new come on uh, raise your voice and begin to pray uh, begin to declare it uh, that every single um, pattern uh, every single thing in our minds uh, that will not allow us to enter into the manuka of God, huh? that Lord, we take it away, huh? we remove the old, huh? we get rid of the old, huh? we get rid of the whole, huh? in the name of Jesus, huh? oh, the basu de 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 abba, huh? Lord, we get rid of the old, huh? in the name of Jesus, huh? that Lord, we get rid of the old, huh? yes, come on, come on, keep praying, 
We get rid of the old in the name of Jesus. We get rid of the old in the name of Jesus. We get rid of the old. We get rid of the old. Yes, Jesus, that our minds are changing. Our thoughts are changing. That we are not carrying the same mindset. That we're not carrying the same things that we had before. Oh, yeah, yeah, babo sadabaha. Rina nana masu kedeha. Lord, we are submitting our minds to you in this season. We are submitting our word. Ah, yeah, basu deha. That we are submitting everything that we're doing to you in this season. That we will not carry the same behavior in this season. That we will not carry the same way of thinking, Lord. Because you've already done it already, Lord. So we sit in your rest, Lord. And we find rest in you. Because rest is already found in you in the name of Jesus. Rest is already found in you in the name of Jesus. So Lord, we so Lord, we come against Lord every old mindset, every old thought, every old pattern, every old way of thinking right now in the name of Jesus. Begin to declare it, begin to pray right now that in the name of Jesus, every old mindset goes right now in the name of Jesus. That Lord, as we are in this fast. We are yeah 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 baba that Lord we are getting rich oh sadaba sede sadaba ha li na 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 masi kade ya bo sadaba ha li ka ya basu ke da de basu ya da baha le se ke da bo se de saru sa ya baha ri masu na na masu de sadaba ha every old mindset goes sade da 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 basu de de Every old mindset goes. Huh? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. But so did they, huh? Every old foot pattern leaves her huh? in the name of Jesus. Huh? Yeah, 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 yeah. Huh? Oh, the bass today, the day, but no, Sade, huh? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But so did they, but so did they, Every old mindset goes in the name of Jesus. Huh? Every old way of seeing things goes. Huh? That a new mindset, huh? new perspective, huh? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But who seek? Kade bado sa de baha, ru sa ye baba baha, ri kade baso da da ha, ri kate baso kaye bado sa de baha, ri kato se ke de de ha. Every old mindset leaves him. It goes in the name of Jesus. Oh ya de ya de baba bado sa ye baha. Oh ya ye ya ye bado si kade ha. In the name of Jesus, the Lord we come against him. Every old mindset in the name of Jesus. For in Jesus' name we pray. So our second prayer point is this: that we are going to pray against any mindset, against any thoughts, against any um, things that will not allow us to walk in the supernatural rest that God has got for us. If you remember again in scriptures, the um, when when Jesus came with his um, when he came into the New Testament, the 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 the, the Israelites in the Old Testament they were not able to see what God was, was trying to do in the new season. Why? Because their mind was too stuck in the old. And so a lot of time, what happens is this, right, is that many times that we're not careful, our mindset of the old season can affect what God wants to do in the new season. So our old mindset can affect what God wants to do. I want to say this very clear, care, um, carefully in the scriptures because when Jesus wanted to come and wanted to change things, the Israelites, they, because they were used to the tradition and to the ways of thinking, they were not able to come into what God was doing. The Gentiles were able to, but Israelites were not able to. Why? Because they were already fixed on their minds. They were already, the mindset was already fixed on the old. So what we want to begin to do is to pray against every mindset thoughts or behavior that will cause us to still stay in the old, but not to move in the new that God is doing in this season. So that will cause us to still stay in the old, but not to come into the rest that is given us in this season. So wherever we are, let's just begin to pray. And let's just begin to pray against every old mindset that will cause us not to be able to find rest in the season. So Lord, we thank you. So Lord, we, we pray against any mindset, Lord. Every thought pattern that will not allow us to find rest into you in the name of Jesus. Lord, we yeah, 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 Lord, 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 we speak against every old mindset that will not allow us to 
find rest in you. In the name of Jesus, so Karusi Kiddeha, Rika Daba, so Rikidedeha, Rusi Kiddedeha. Everything that will cause us to stay in the same ways of thinking, her that will not allow us to come to a place of rest, Lord. Her the Lord, we put those mindset away in the name of Jesus, her Rika Daba, so Karika Daba, Riko to Tosi Karusa Daba, Rika Taba, see Kiddeba, so Kayabaha, Rika Taba, so Kiddeba, so Dada. Oh, ya 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 ba su ke de de sa de ba do si ka da ha ye se ke de de come on come on re ka ye ba su da da ha come on let's begin to get rid of them ha everything ha every old mentality oh ya 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 Jesus we pray ha that whatever will not allow us to find rest in you in this season ha Lord we get rid of it in the name of Jesus si ka ye ba su ka da ha re ka da ba su ke da da ba si ke da bo sa da ha Yes, Jesus, we come against it. Come on, let's begin to pray. Let's begin to pray. Let's begin to pray right now against everything that will not allow us to find rest in in him in this season. Lord, we let go of our thinking, Lord. We let go of our Four patterns, oh Lord, ha. Ye can do sabasi de ha. Rima suka ye bado sada ha. Rima suka re ba suda da ha. Lord, we say in the name of Jesus, ha. And we speak right now in the name of Jesus, ha. That every old foot patterns, ha. That will not allow us to find rest goes right now, ha. It goes right now, ha. It goes right now, ha. In the name of Jesus, ha. In the name of Jesus, ha. In the name of Jesus. Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, who can give us food at the bus today? Every old ways of doing things, huh? every old thought patterns huh? that will not cause us to walk into the new heart. Huh? Now, in the name of Jesus, we read Lada Sadala Basu de Ha, Reka de Sade Basu Ramaha, Rese de Sebaso de Ha. Yes, Jesus, we come against everything that will not allow us to find rest. Huh? Yes, Lade Sade, da 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 da, so Kade Ha. Oh, yeah, 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 Basu de Ha. That Lord, we come against everything that will not allow us to find rest. We come against everything that will not allow us to find rest. Every mindset, every thought, every thought pattern, every ways of doing things. Lord, we come against it. For Lord, we rebuke it and we remove it. So that them help to see you have and help to walk into our rest, Lord. Oh Jesus, ha! Oh yeah, 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 basu kada ha! Oh re masu kaya bada baha! Lisa de basu rama ha de ha! Rika taso de de basu kade ha! In the name of Jesus, ha! That we pray right now, ha! In the name of Jesus, ha! That we will not be people, ha! That will allow the old mindset, ha! And the old ways of thinking, ha! To affect what God is doing, ha! In our new season. And we pray him in the name of Jesus him, that our mindset him, shall change him, that shall be renewed him, be renewed him, be changed him. right now in the name of Jesus be renewed right now in the name of Jesus that we come against the old four patterns. We come against the old mindset. Oh yeah 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 that we come against the old. That we come against the old that stands as a way for uh, that stands in front of us entering the new that we pray that we will enter the new in the name of jesus huh? that we, in the name of jesus that what would not allow us to enter into the new huh? that lord let it be broken down yes lord huh? every man should be broken down huh? every stubborn foot pattern oh yes lord huh? every stubborn ways of thinking he, da, 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 huh? every man Mindset that the bar so they have that Lord that will not allow us to enter her into our supernatural rest. Uh, in the name of Jesus, we come against it in the name of Jesus. For in Jesus' name we pray, amen. And then I've only got just one prayer point, and then that's it. I'm done.
<laughs> but it's this is that we want to pray that we will to embrace the rest of God in this season. That we won't begin to pray that we will rest in him in this season. That we will just embrace and the spirit of rest will to work in us. Remember, Jesus said in the scriptures that um you know that in this season that basically that you know that um that we should that as we begin to come in him that as we begin to give him our burdens that you know it's just like it, as we give our burdens that we have to find rest in it just come to me i'm going to give you know that that, that, that we should give him our burden instead of going to find rest in him that basically that he will be the ones to carry our yoke meaning that we will not have to carry the yokes ourselves that means that we will not have to carry the work mentality ourselves that means that we will not have to do it ourselves but instead it will do it in our lives but what that means is that we need to also as well submit to the rest of God. Submit to the rest. Embrace the rest. Allow the, allow the Lord to come. You know, many of us are probably, you know, come from a lifestyle from, from a tradition where like we've probably done everything ourselves. You know, we probably grew up where like we've done everything, you know, everything ourselves. We are used for me. I would like to you, I'm so myself. I'm I'm a, you know, I, I like doing things myself because I, you know, for me, because I've grown up being like a person, like, girl, I will do this, I will do this and carry it, you know, but, you know, but, but we have to come into the place where sometimes you have to understand that we cannot carry everything ourselves, that we need to be able to actually give the burden to him and be able to, but, that and be able to find rest in him. God wants us to find rest in him. God wants us to be able to move into the place of rest in him. And so what we're going to be praying is that we'll be able to embrace the rest, that we will not fight the rest in this season, that rest will feel, that for us, that this season will feel like rest. I'm somebody, if I can be honest, I work so much that in seasons when I'm resting, I actually hate it because I feel like I'm doing nothing. I'm pretty sure that there's many of you guys that probably in this Called I feel the same. You know, that many of us here, many of us who are workaholics, we, we want to do things ourselves, so, you know, that when it comes to, when we want to actually come to rest, rest doesn't feel like rest, but first, first I say, like, oh my gosh, maybe I've been lazy. But right now, we want to come to a place where we're saying, you know what, no, that in this season, our duty is to embrace the rest. Let him give you that rest. Let him give you that peace. So what we're going to begin to pray is this, that we, we, we're going to begin to pray right now, that we will embrace the rest of God. That, we, that as we are praying, we're, we're, we're going to begin to give God prophetically the burdens that we're carrying. Don't, as you're praying this fast, even right now, do not hold a burden in. Give God the burden. Let him carry the burden. Give him the burden. Let him carry it. So as you're praying, begin to give it to him. Whatever it is, Begin to give it to him right now. For many of us, this, this may feel new to us, may feel like, oh my gosh, like, you know, but, but this is where God wants to be, at a place where we can actually submit to him. This is the whole beauty of renew because we're changing from work to rest. From work to rest. We are moving from the work mentality to the rest mentality of God, you have it. God, you do it. God, you take care of it. So right now, we, let us begin to pray that right now. Lord, we thank you in the name of Jesus. Lord, we declare, Lord, that we will, that we will be able to embrace your rest in this season. The Lord, that we pray, yeah, da, 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 so did they, ha, yeah, but, ha, supernatural rest. Lord, we declare it in the name of Jesus. We declare it in the name of Jesus. Sa, de, 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 si, ru, sa, de, sa, de, ma, so, na, ni, si, ke, de, de. Urumanu sana e kadu sani kaye basu kadabaha. Oh, sanene ne kriasi kadu sadebaha. Supernatural rest in this season, Jesus. Give it to us. Lord, yeah, let it up as so kerede saru sadaha. Oh, kayabasu de de ha. Supernatural rest, Lord, we declare it. That we will come into your rest, that we will come into your grace. That oh yeah, 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 but so did it is that Lord, it's not about how much we do, Lord, but it's about what you're doing in us and through us in the name of Jesus. Jesus, who Yabado say Kadriha. Yeah, da 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 basu Lord, we rest in your finished works. We rest in what you've done. Huh? We embrace the rest. Huh? We let go of everything, every footpath and everything, Lord. And we say, Lord, that we embrace rest. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. We embrace rest. 
We embrace rest, O oh Lord. That we we embrace your rest. We embrace your peace. We embrace your love. We embrace your grace. Lord, we are saying, Lord, that Lord, that we will to find rest in you in this season. Lord, we pray, Lord, that rest high about her. That Lord, that we will find rest in you in this season. Lord, we declare supernatural rest. Supernatural rest. Supernatural, come on, let's let's give it to him. Let's give it to him. Let's give him the burdens. Let's give him to him the things. There will be probably things that you're stressing about. That I see the Lord saying, change your mind. Let me take it. Change your mind. Let's just begin to pray. Oh, yeah, 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 basu kedeha. Lord, right now we declare her supernatural rest. Lord, we declare her supernatural rest in the name of Jesus. See Katu. Zina na nama sure kaye basu kaya baha. Zure manama si kaye badu ha. Lord, I rest in your finished works. I rest in you. I rest in you. Because, Lord, I, I know that as I begin to rest in you, everything that I need to get done is already done already. Lord, I rest in your grace. Lord, we rest in your grace. Lord, we rest in your grace. It's already done. It's already done. It's already done. It's many of you, I can hear the Lord say, it's already done. It's already done. The things were stressed. But many of us are here, are you saying, God, do this for me? God, I need to be done. But Lord is saying it's already done. It's already finished. It's already been done. As I said on the cross, it is finished. So it is done. Do not worry or stress, but, 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 but literally find peace in him. For the spirit, for scripture says that God has not given us um, for God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power, love, and sound mind. For God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power, love, and sound mind. Meaning that it's given us the spirit of rest. It's given us the, the, the spirit to rest in him. And know that it's already done it. That you know, literally says in the scriptures that do not be anxious for nothing, but in everything that begin to that everything that, that in praise and supplication that begin to give everything to him. And right now begin to pray, begin to pour everything to him, begin to embrace, begin to come into the place of rest. This is the season of rest. This is not the season of work. We will not we will not struggle. We will not be anxious. We will not have fear. We will not, we will, but in this season, we will walk with the grace of God. We will embrace his grace. We will embrace his grace. Come on, begin to pray. We will embrace his grace. We will embrace rest. That we will begin to walk into her our purpose huh, for the place of his grace, huh, that we will find rest in him, that we will find peace in him, that we will not stress about nothing, huh, that we shall not be anxious for nothing, huh, that we should not worry about nothing, Holy Ghost, that we will not be looking, Lord, huh, for how to fulfill this or how to get this, but Lord, we know huh, that everything that we need in this season, everything has already been done in your name, is done by the name of Jesus. Come on, embrace his rest. I heard the Lord say, embrace my rest. Embrace his rest. Embrace his rest. Come on. Embrace his rest. Let him begin to carry your load. Let him begin to carry your burden. Come on. This is this is actually my final point, and then we're done. Let's just begin to carry. Let, let us embrace his rest. That in this season, that our, that our freedom is in his rest. Our healing is in his rest. Our deliverance is in his rest. Holy Ghost. Oh, our breakthrough is in is, is in the rest. Because it's not by our will, but by his will. It's not by our works, but it's by his power. He's already done. Come on, let's uh, let's begin to declare it right now. It's already done. It's already done. Everything that we need has already been done and accomplished already. That we do not have to worry, Holy Ghost. For he kade basu kayabaha. He can do side basukada. For it's already done. He can basukadeha. For it's already finished. He can For it's already completed. He can But we didn't have to worry her. 
but it's already been done. He said on the cross that it is finished, it is completed, it is done. So we find rest in you. For we find rest in you, Jesus. 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 Yeah, 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 yeah. Basura Basida. That the grace of rest will come upon us in this season. That we will be resting in our work life. That we will be resting in our family. That we will be resting in our personal life. That everything that concerns us in this season, rest shall find us. We should not have to worry that we will not carry any old mindset or any old year. It's already done. But we declare it's already finished. It's already done. It's already finished. It's already done. Yeka ye basuka da ha. Yeka ye basuka ye badika da ha. Ri masu na na masu de da da ba ha. Ri ka ye sade badu sada ba ha. It is already done. Every idea, every plan, every. Thing is done. We declare it in the name of Jesus. Come on, let's press in. Let's press in. Let's press in. Let's press into the rest of God. Press into the rest of God. Press into the rest of God. Wherever you are, press into the rest of God. Move into the rest of God. Move into the manuka of God. Come into the rest. Come into his peace. Come into his peace. For we find peace in him. We find peace in his presence. We don't have to worry anymore. We don't have to carry the mindset of the old. For we move into the new in the name of Jesus. We carry the new. We carry the peace. We carry the rest. We carry the stamina. We move into the Sabbath of God. For we come into the rest of God. We carry the rest right now. Come on. Come on. Let's go. One more minute. Press in for one more minute. Press into the rest we press into the rest time we press into the rest time and we come into the rest come on just one more minute and we come into the rest of god we come into the rest of god we come into the rest of god we come into his rest we come into this rest we break every work based mindset every mindset that causes us to go back we break it and we say right now we prophesy rest over you that rest shall be your portion in this season that you will not have to worry about anything but you know that in this, that you know that God has given the peace and the rest in the name of Jesus we pray amen 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 and so guys that's today's section done i'm done and i say guys thank you very much for being here we're back again tomorrow morning at 6 a.m for the next section of the of the prayer and the fast guys thank you so much for being here um and we just want to say guys have a lovely evening and um yeah guys see you guys later see you guys tomorrow